What a nasty day. I don't want to stay inside because everybody's got freaking cabin fever from being locked inside the house for too long. So let's do some experimenting. I want to see how much the rain actually affects aero flight. So this last hunt that I just did with uh, my buddy Kirk Bonds, I was about to take a shot and he mentioned, hey, if they come around at this yardage, aim about three yards high because you want to account for the rain. And I thought, yeah, that probably makes sense. But I'd, I'd actually never done it because so much of me, every time it rains, doesn't want to be outside shooting my bow. I mean, I've definitely shot in the rain a little bit, but not very often because kind of sucks but to be honest I need to start shooting in the wind more and I need to be shooting in the rain more so let's give it a shot I'll say this it's calmed down a lot so the rain may not have as big an effect here but we're gonna start at 60 yards and then work back to 80 and see if even in this kind of drizzle this kind of heavier foggy hazy type of day look at this We're gonna see if this actually has an effect on Aeroflight. I've shot some warm ups and I feel like I'm kinda of in the zone now. What I'm gonna do is aim at that very top line in the matrix target. Like not the tippy top line, but in between the first layer of cubes and the second layer of cubes. 60 yards. Go take a look. My first arrow didn't feel that great. I think it was to the left, but the second and the third arrow felt pretty well dialed in. And I can already see as I'm walking up that I'm gonna be just a little low with both of them from where I was aiming. Oh, and you know what, actually, so that's pretty interesting. It's like I was saying, the I wasn't really worried about the left to right, kind of just letting the bow do what it wants to do. And even though I was aiming high at this line, even with this air just being maybe a little thicker, the humidity, I don't know what it is, check this out. So again, I was aiming at the line up above and everything is pretty much two or three inches low, you know. Interesting. You know, we're gonna skip 70 and we're just gonna go straight back to 80 because it's getting a little bit darker and for some reason, the Montana black gold, as it starts to get darker, for some reason, the pins start to blow out on me a little bit. And even in this just hyper overcast type weather, I get a lot of pin blowout and I may need a, I may need a clarifier. I may be getting old enough that now the old eyes are kind of starting. So let's do the same thing from 80. Yeah, now we got some rain falling, so it's probably twice as heavy as it was at 60 yards. And I can already see that that, that arrow dropped probably, woo! I don't wanna get struck by lightning for y'all. I'm gonna shoot one more arrow, then I'm, <laughs> then I'm gonna bail out.
All right, let's go give that a look. Both of those arrows felt pretty good. Check this out. Oh good, just in time. That's a big deal. At 80 yards, I'm aiming right here and I'm hitting six inches-ish low. I and mean, obviously that second arrow dropped a little bit lower than the first, but that's, that's a pretty big difference. So that's something we definitely need to account for as we're practicing. And if it wasn't lightning, I'd stay out here and keep knocking them down. But just to kind of see if this is really, if, if it's really staying this consistent. Yeah, this is something really good to keep in mind as we're out here, you know, hunting in the rain. That rain really does uh, affect the impact. Did you notice the GoPro that I had hanging from the side of my uh, little contraption there that holds up the uh, that holds up the matrix target? The card failed. Like literally I had it running the entire time so that I'd have the nice little B-roll of the arrows thunking into the target so you could kind of see the progress shots. But then I got back and it says like three and a half gigs worth of footage and it, it failed. So I apologize. That's the first time that's ever happened. So I'm glad it happened on something like that that didn't matter. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was kind of a short, just little thing real quick. Just something easy that it was, uh, you know, that I was able to do today. But I think it's important. I think that's kind of like the uh, videos that John is doing right now. John Dudley, I know I feel like I have a man crush on him because I talk about him all the time in my videos. But where he was going out and having you shoot a spot at 20 or 30 yards and then move forward and then move back. What? Oh, my phone died. So now the light on my face is bad. Oh my gosh. This is horrible. I apologize. I look like I'm 100 now. Let's go closer. Save me, Jocelyn. Closer. Closer. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm Brandon McDonald.